All right, so in this video, we're gonna have a look at basic lineal meters and the different tools that you have on offer to do those lineal meter takeoffs and uh, have a quick squiz at what these particular lineal meter takeoffs are generally used for. So I'm in my ground floor framing category and I'm gonna add a line and do my particular takeoff for base plate. So I'm just grabbing the timber that I'm gonna use, which is that one. I'm gonna add a little note to myself, base plate. And hit the takeoff tool so that it will go into the takeoff and do lineal meter drawings. Now, when you first get into a lineal meter takeoff, if you've done square meter ones before, you will look up here and go, well, they look pretty much the same. And that's, that's a good thing. They should look very much the same. Um, the biggest difference between a lineal meter takeoff and a square meter takeoff as far as build exact drawing is concerned is that a rectangle, for example, will be hollow, um, circle, same exact thing. We're doing the outside perimeter. But by and large, the tools themselves actually draw the exact same way. Um, so if you're comfortable with square meters, this should be very, very easy. Line, um, in square meters, remember that was a line with a height versus in linear meters, line is just a standard old line. And the colors, the pitch, deduction, all work exactly the same as in square meters. So what I'm gonna do is to go around and measure everywhere I've got base plate. And I'm gonna use two different tools to do this. First of all, I'm gonna change this to red so it's easier to see. I'm going to grab my polygon and go around the outside of every, uh, of everywhere. So right around the outside of the frame. And this, I personally just find an easier way to grab um, all the, or a whole bunch of frame in one go if I know it's gonna start and finish in the same spot. If it's not going to do that, then I would use the single line. Now that I've done the outside uh, area or the outside line for base plate, I would go to the single line and get all the internal walls. I'm going to turn these labels off. Uh, when I'm doing this for base plate, I'm not too worried about doors uh, and openings and that kind of thing. I just go straight over it. That would be a bit different for really large openings and obviously it's personal preference. So mine's going to look something like that. And that's going to give me the lineal meters of all of the base plate um, around the frame. Now you can do a number of things with this measurement. Um, so we're going to have a quick mention to if you've done this measurement, how you could then convert this into number of studs and top plates, um, nogs, etc. And this will uh, this will be different for different people. So what I'm meaning here is if I go accept and save, we've got just a timber rate for base plate here and we've got 75 meters of it. However, we might see users who go just frame per meter and they have a cost per meter. As always, the prices are purely examples and they reuse or they use a frame measurement just to get a, a cost for the frame and all they're really interested in is a cost per lineal meter. Totally fine. We have other videos that go into recipes and how you can use um, this exact same measurement to break down your frame, for example, into uh, the studs, the nogs, the plates, and whatever else you wanna put in there. So really just to say, at this point, we're not covering that specifically, but it is entirely possible. And uh, in this series of videos, we'll cover recipes and um, through the explore button, oops, um, through the explore button, you can jump into the video tutorials here um, if you want to go directly to those recipe videos about framing and that kind of thing. Very good. That's uh, lineal meters and how it all works.